Oh, what's happening? Who's he fighting? Wait, is this the song you love? Yep. <gasps> oh, you played this for me so many Time times. Is up, ready to go. Venturing into the unknown. Fire inside me must be unleashed. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, Vegeta, he's training so hard. Zenies. What oh, is so going on? So many new characters. Go on, maybe he'll become a fighter again. <gasps> 17. 17 and 18 together? Tien is back too. Wait, why was Broly and Frieza in that? Oh, these must be the people from the other universes that he's gonna fight. Oh. This is so fast. It probably took forever to animate. Hi, Gear. What did you think of that? That was so fun. I loved it. I would play this song all the time for Madison. I know all the words. I used to sing it all the time. Madison's like, where's this song from? Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. And welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super Reaction. Before we begin, as always, thank you to the patrons on Patreon. If you want to join us on Patreon, the link is in the description. Go check it out for early access to our footage and exclusive content like filler episodes and movies that are only on Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel. Also, subscribe to a ton of other channels that we have, which are all within the link in the description. Description. Last but not least, check out our merchandise, which is also within the link in the description. Like this video, comment down below. And with all that being said, let's get started with this reaction. Where's it gonna be? Somewhere <laughs> awesome, right? It is a special place indeed. The Null Realm. The Null Realm. Does that mean like rolling hills? It's a world of infinite emptiness. Nope. Where not even time or space exists. Since literally nothing's in the Null Realm, there's nothing to break. Thus, you'll be free to fight as vigorously as you like. Wow. Also, as with the tournament you held between the 6th and the 7th, the ultimate champion of our competition will be awarded the Super Dragon Balls. Nice. Which will grant whatever wish is desired. They have already been gathered in preparation of this grand event. They can only be used yearly? Yes, that's right. And in case you're wondering, he got three of them from me. Damn you, Champa! Champa! You you've been collecting them once again. Excuse me. Of course. And what prize does the champion's home universe receive? The chance to live. They go on. Uh, what? Like go on stage? No, no. They get to go on as before. Wait, how's that no. a prize? I'm confused. <sighs> You're jumping the gun. Gren Zeno intended for this announcement to come later, but due to your friendship with the Omni King Goku, I guess I'll make an exception. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. It is a prize by its contrast, for the universes that don't win shall be eliminated. <gasps> it's a fight to the finish. Uh, could you There's no that? rules. It's simple. All of the defeated universes will be promptly wiped from existence. Granzino will see to it personally. The oh my gosh! Weiss's <laughs> face didn't even look surprised. Goku, there's one more thing. Huh? What? The Omni King has a favor to ask of you in the meantime. Oh What's no! A, favor? a show. He'd like to have some fighters from the seventh, yourself included, going up against champions from the ninth. Think of it as a warm-up act before the main show begins. Uh, why? You see, the Grand Zeno from the alternate future timeline did not have the opportunity to witness your matches against Universe 6. Thus, he's a bit behind. Hey, me. What yes, the heck? Me? What kind of power will be in a tournament of power? The power will be fighting power. Is it fun? Want to see? Oh, yes, very much! What's needed is a demonstration. He excited him so much. Our Omni King wants to bring his counterpart up to speed and build excitement in them both for the upcoming tournament proper. To that end, we'd like you to take part in these run-up matches, which we are calling the Zeno Expo. I was not expecting this. For the fights? Really? Sounds great. So, who am I going to get to take on? 
Well, that remains to be seen, but as I said, it will be someone from the Ninth. You have exactly one hour from now to gather two other worthy participants. Then present yourselves at Grand Zeno's palace. See you then. One hour? Bulma's about to have her baby! Uh, this is bad. Why, why'd they choose Universe 9? I agree, that's an intriguing question, sir. But I would say that's the least of our concerns at the moment. That is a great question. Three of us get to fight in this one, huh? I wonder who I should pick for this. Beerus is so freaking pissed. How can you be so glib about this, Sam? <laughs> you should have destroyed him. <laughs> do you have any comprehension of what this stunt you've pulled is going to do to the cosmos? Just because you wanted a workout. Huh? He's right. So foolish. Imagine for a moment if the whole seventh universe is plucked from existence. I could never forgive myself. And now all the universes face the same threat. Wait, so should I go ask Zenny not to pluck the seventh universe and obliterate it from existence? Definitely. Oh, intentions are good. I must advise against that. Uh -huh. The Omni Kings and Grand Minister may seem amiable, but they don't like dissent. If you criticize their plan, they might destroy our universe to prove a point. No, that would be so bad. That's terrible. What do we do? Look what he's done. He's realizing that caused now. huge problems. And don't think your so-called friendship with the Grand Zenos will save you, Goku. You are a temporary plaything, a bauble to be cast aside. If you lose, they won't hesitate to obliterate you, along with the rest of the Seventh. And they'll know, laugh while doing it. But I didn't expect it to turn out like this. This is insane. That's irrelevant. You'll still pay the price. Pay what price? You have to win. Fine. I don't care who I fight. All I know is I have to win this tournament. No matter what. He's Indeed. good when the stakes as are high. As this is, we have no choice but to play along. First, we need to build the team for this expo. Then we can worry about finding all ten for the <laughs> tournament after that. Right. Well, I'll take one spot. Yes, we know. Who's Moron. gonna do now the rest? Two more. It's your mess to fix. So go! Dude. Oh, we've been okay. over this already. I am waiting for my child. Okay, Vegeta, chill out. You don't have to yell yeah, my ear no, off. Uh. No, he is not going to choose the children. They're really capable, though. I know, but they're so young. Yo! Hey, Dad, what's up? Gotcha. Wow. It's so funny because no, it's like mini God, Goku and mini Vegeta. Oh, what? You were wide open, dude. I don't know what the Zeno Expo is, Kakarot, but if you need help, then why not ask your son? Yeah, I could, but I have no idea who we're gonna fight. The art I style looks so off in these you. panels. Vegeta's proportions Wait, look weird. My other son! No! Now I get it. Thanks, Vegeta, that's a great idea. Oh, man, you can't trust this guy with anything. <laughs> a Zeno Expo? <laughs> oh, I understand now. Power? Inter-universe matchups sound pretty intense, Dad. Yeah, exactly. That's why we need your help to win. You want me? But why? You That'd and your fun, sweater vest. <laughs> sure, you haven't kept up with your training, but it'll come back. You've got great instincts and incredible power locked up in there. We've all seen it. I don't know. Hmm? He's gonna say no to this? Look, the truth is this tournament could be kind of a problem. Wait, what do you mean? I'll tell you. But you have to promise you won't tell Videl or anyone else, okay? Keeping secrets okay, from his wife? Supposedly, every universe that loses this will be completely wiped out by Grand Zeno. Damn. Oh. Does he go on? <laughs> wiped out? Like, seriously? Seriously. <laughs> I feel like there's a loophole for some reason. How could you? Uh -huh. Dad. How could you let something like this happen? Oh. If word spreads, riots will break out everywhere. And if he actually goes through with it. I know it sounds bad, okay? Supreme Kai and Lord Beerus already laid into me, but maybe it's all just a bluff. And He's gonna kill Lord everyone. Dead, can you stop it? Can you do anything about it, Dad? Well, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to play this out and deal with it if it happens. But that's insane. Uh, they have no what? idea who he's gonna fight. Does anyone else know about this? Not here on Earth. Just you and me so far. Ah, uh, he well, didn't tell Vegeta. That way. Uh, you can't tell anybody else. 
And I won't tell either. We can't cause a panic. What's up, you guys? <laughs> if you want to visit, you should come inside. Yo, you can't lie to her. Nothing, nothing to worry about. Yeah, I was just inviting Gohan to enter a martial arts tournament with me, that's all. But apparently he's too busy to help his old man and join the fight. <laughs> Look yeah, at him. You know, kind of gave up all that. Oh, come on, it's just a tournament, right? Huh? Why don't just you help a tournament. Them? I think have fun. <laughs> oh, oh, she's oh, flying around. It. Was Grandpa nice? Did you play any fun games? Which Grandpa? He's good for that. Mr. Satan. <laughs> all right, Dad. I'll join the fight. That's the spirit, son. For the family. Got to protect my family, don't I? <laughs> Gohan yeah. has such a sweet family. Pen, she's bigger and stronger than before. Look at B. Take after her grandpa. Huh? No, hey there, Goku. Uh, boo! Oh, <laughs> no, this is perfect timing. I need a favor. He dies to Hercule. Say he didn't no even more. say hi. Whatever you need, I'm here to help Goku. One manly world saving hero to another. Uh, Boo won't pass man, the IQ test actually, again. I'm gonna need Boo for this one. Cool? Really? You need Boo? <laughs> Boo is so freaking funny. I love Boo's character. Sometimes I like to talk like him. <laughs> they bribed him with chocolate. Easy. <laughs> Look at Gohan with his nerdy glasses. This he looks strong the there. You can do. Uh, hi, Lord Beerus. Uh, Why didn't he ask what Piccolo? What doing here? Oh, well, uh, uh, we're kind of a package deal. I'm the only one who'll listen to you, see? <laughs> oh, Mr. Satan. So, Goku, huh? Do these Earthlings know what will happen if we lose the main tournament? Shh. Only Gohan does. <laughs> he said we shouldn't tell anyone else since it would cause a big panic and make things worse. Is that right? Hmm. He's, He's right. Brain. At least I can say that. Well, let's not keep the Omni King waiting. Kai Kai. Oh, I was confused why his fingers were like this. What's that? The palace of Grand Zeno, ruler of the multiverse. How'd they make it float? We cannot afford any slip-ups, human. Don't Do bring him. Or move unless prompted. You hear me? Or you will regret it. Yes, sir. Sorry. He's so freaking lucky to be walking with Goku, the deities, the destroyer, a magical being like Boo. I can't believe Beerus allowed Boo to come after he had an outbreak, uh, an outrage gentlemen of the from night. Boo's behavior. It's been too long. Hmm. Oh, creepy. I take it those are the guys we're gonna be fighting. Yeah. <laughs> They're wolves, foxes. Glad you could make it. What does the fox say? Put down, Boo. Oh, he listened this time. Now then, taking a page from Earth's martial arts tournaments, I will prepare the ring and seating for the spectators. They don't have to take a test? No, it's just getting right into it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> I'm so magical. Creepy. Those are the fighters. Destroyer. The angel and the uh, Supreme Kai. Gather deities, please come down. Join us. Are these Zenny? Nope, these are... Everyone from the other universe? Correct. Whoa, their designs are so creative. Why is that one a clown? <laughs> All 12 universes, Supreme Kai's and Destroyers. Angels, too. What a truly rare assembly. Are the angels all siblings? These are all the gods, huh? Kind of freaky. Yo! <laughs> hey, Chompa! How's it going, man? Whoa! That's huh? a god, buddy. Shouldn't you use some these and thous or something? Oh, really? Yeah, no it's kidding. Okay. I've known Chompa for a while now. Excuse me, Goku. Uh -huh. I'm afraid I must insist on silence. Uh 
Oh, great. <laughs> ticked off the little blue angel guy. They better duct tape his mouth shut. Loyal Supreme Kais and Destroyers of the Twelve, thank you for joining us today. As I informed you the earlier, echo. we gather here to prepare for the upcoming martial arts competition, which Grand Zeno has named the Tournament of Power. For those who don't know, our great Omni King has a new companion. It's his own counterpart from an alternate future. Due That's to so crazy. Discrepancies that Grand Zeno has never seen a martial arts tournament. So we will remedy that with this, our Zeno Expo. I like her. Hail the Omni Kings. She looks like Cleopatra. You humble us with your presence. How could there be more than one Omni King? I don't get that either. Maybe it's our feeble human minds. Did he say Zeni? Yes, he did. And he's flying up to him. Thanks for giving us these awesome pre-fight fights. Get down, idiot! He threw him in. Give the disturbance, sire. <laughs> oh my goodness, Goku's such a fool! Like that, that's deity 101. Somebody Stress smack Goku. Out. Stressing me out. Say what now? Uh. Mm -hmm. It's very comical, isn't it? It's scary. Did you hear Champa? Great deities. Before we start, we should acknowledge a mortal from the Seventh whose enthusiasm helped set this all in motion. Without him, we wouldn't have gathered here today. They're going to be so mad. Speak, sure. <laughs> I'm Goku, and I heard the other universes had strong fighters I didn't know about. So I said to Zenny, it would be great to fight all those guys. And he was nice enough to set it all up. What a freaking speech. Everyone's going to be so you, mad. Goku. Yes, thank you. I want to see fights. Yes, please hurry. You got it, dudes. I guarantee you it's going to be amazing. He's so thank excited you, still, even though he might die. Now then, let's get to the particulars. In keeping with our Omni King's wishes, this Zeno Expo will be comprised of successive <laughs> one-on-one -on -one matches between three martial artists from the seventh universe and three from the ninth. These contests will have no time limits. Each match will go on until one opponent declares defeat or is rendered incapable of continuing. Combatants are allowed and expected to use all powers they have in pursuit oh, of victory. Oh, there's no question, holding back. What will the winning universe receive as their reward for being superior? The only point of creepy. this expo is to show the appeal of martial arts to his majesty's esteemed counterpart from the future. It's not intended to judge these universes, so there is no reward. Though that is not to suggest these matches are without consequence. If he feels that your fighters don't live up to the task, he may take drastic measures. Like what? Grandmaster, are you implying that if he gets bored and doesn't think they're impressive enough, he might exterminate the fighters? Oh my gosh. The universe? That's always been a threat, all though. Say with accuracy is those Even with destroyers. Exist. It all depends on the whims of the Omni Kings. Keep them entertained. Now, let's get on with the expo. Our first two contestants, please enter the ring. Yeah, the first one's all mine, brothers. And Goku? <laughs> Go on, Basil. Show them. I'm counting on you to deliver for the ninth universe. Basil? Yeah, make it look easy. Don't worry. I won't let you down. Oh, please. It doesn't look like much to me. All right, you guys. Let's just stick to the plan. You're fighting first, boo. What? Wake him up! <laughs> no, <laughs> Mr. Satan! Knucklehead! Isn't this the whole reason you're here? Deal with this! <laughs> yes, sir! Give him another candy bar! Come on, buddy! This ain't your napping time! It's nappy poo poo time! Hey, look! Nappy I've poo poo for boo boo! This one for you. It's a chocoholic special! <gasps> Look at his nostrils. <laughs> okay, well, that's the spirit. But now, remember what you promised me? How you play over there? <laughs> Fight him! Come on, Boo! Boo. He's funny. He looked like dog. <laughs> 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 like Bee. Boo. That doggy man says he wants to play with you really, really bad. Yeah. He especially likes getting tackled. So be a good boo and play with him, and I'll give you tons more chocolate, okay? Okay. Finally, he wasn't able to be in the last tournament. <laughs> Who do you think's gonna take this? So you want to challenge Boo? Me? I sure hope Boo does. 
Boo is freaking strong, man. And he cannot be destroyed. It's very hard to destroy him. Let the opening match begin. <laughs> Whoa. He's just bouncing around. Oh. Is he just taking it? Oh, yes. Yes, they are. A rough start. Those kids That's bad. Are hard to block. Yeah. He's looking pretty tough to beat. Hmm? Is he laughing or crying? <laughs> <laughs> they chose this Bob as their leadoff fighter. Just wait. His, his head's gonna joke. <laughs> steam. <laughs> Isn't it ironic how Shin, the Supreme Kai, was trying to defeat this Boo at one point? And he was so scared of him? Yeah. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> Man, I wanted to see more of that fight. What'd you think? That was a good ending with the smile and the giggle. I can't wait to see Majin Buu actually use his powers against this guy. Of all the fights that are gonna happen in this preliminary tournament, how many of our heroes do you think will end up victorious? I think Goku will definitely win, Buu might win, and I don't think Gohan's going to win. But I think it will be a good thing that Gohan doesn't win. Maybe he'll train harder for the real tournament. This was your first time watching the intro of any Dragon Ball arc or series that we've done. What did you think of it? I enjoyed this so much. The song is amazing. I'm gonna keep listening to it. I already mentioned that you play it all the time, but I had never seen the images behind the song. That being said, I feel like the intro kind of showed us who the 10 fighters are going to be for this tournament. I think a lot of the reason why I decided to do this for the first time was because not only did we see it in the intermission in the last episode, but also the episode before kind of spoiled everything that was about to take place. So I figured it would be a great time to show you the intro. I'm still excited to see how all these characters come into the picture. Sure. I'm specifically looking forward to seeing 17 again, and I can't wait to see how the 17th universe performs at the tournament. With that all being said, we'll see you on the next exciting episode. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned as always, and peace out. Bye!